Hello everybody, Ryan the Almighty here. Welcome to episode 23 of my Let's Play of Sky Factory. Lovely. Alright, so in between episodes I have went... I have went? I went to the Never and got four more blaze spawners. Luckily there were more spawners around, so I was able to do that. So we can now cross that challenge off our list to collect five blaze spawners from the Never. Alright, so all we have to do... Oh, I can do it from here. Yink, yink. There we go. Pop these down. Yeah, let's pop that there. Yoink. Yoink. Okay, then we can... Oopsies. Not do that. Come on, Ryan. There we go. All sorted, that's all the blaze spawners that we need for the challenge, so that is all done. Nice. Cover that up, and we're done. We can also cross something else off of our list, and that is to make an ink farm. It took me a little while to... Whoa, where did you come from? I have no idea where he came from. But, uh, yeah, it took me a while to actually figure out how to get this done. You know, it's pretty obvious that squid would need, you know, water source blocks. Uh, I built this whole thing out, exactly the replica is that, didn't work too well, I made it in this little 3x3 area, it works quite well. If we have a look at ink sacks, 256, you know, that's I'd say probably from about 20 minutes, if that, not 100% sure. But either way, we have a automated ink farm as well now, so yay! <laughs> that's two more challenges we can take off the list. Ink farm, done. Five blaze spawners, done. Alright. So, last episode we had a bit of power issues with our system. So what I did was I doubled up all of our power. So that there's twice as much as going. Uh, and these top ender generators are pulling into the top. The rest are into the side here. Simply because the maximum input and output is 200 or 2000 RF. And each of these bays are generating... Uh, I think it's 400, 80 times 4, so yeah, 400, 800, 1200, 1600, 2000. So five bays of these are doing the maximum 2000, so these had to be put on a separate power line, as you can see, with uh, covers in the way, so that uh, the power can actually go through. So after I did that, we have no issues, the only issue that I have is lava. We have... 54 micro buckets and yeah all of the fluid all of the lava we had stored up is now gone these just aren't enough now <laughs> I know I keep forgetting it but this is a fluid export bus it's supposed to be an import bus yeah I keep forgetting to replace that but it doesn't matter I'm not going to replace it because we are going to switch it up I widened this area out here and what we're going to do is we're going to, down this side here, fill this up with crucibles. It's just going to be full all the way along. And that's probably like 64 or something. Let, let me actually... Hold on. We have a tape measure. So from there... To over here, we can see how many blocks it is. 61. Okay, so we're going to need 61 crucibles. Now, that's a lot. Uh, we're going to need 61 Neverrack as well in order to light it up. And then we shouldn't really have any issues with lava. We should be generating plenty. Uh, I might actually keep these here as well. Not 100% sure. It's also been... Uh, people will suggest to run anything which is tick heavy in the Never. So running this in the Never might be a good idea. But for now, I'm going to run it down there. If it does cause issues with FPS or anything, then I can move it later on. But for now, it's perfectly fine. So 61 is the magic number. Oh, we only have one Never Rack. Uh, it's going to be easier for me to actually go to the Never and collect the Never Rack. Actually, no, because we can't get Never Rack from the Never because it doesn't generate. That's a bit silly. 
Uh, so how did we get Neverack? That was lava with redstone on top, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe so. Now, I think I actually took down this system. Oopsies. I don't believe that this actually works. I don't think it's hooked up with lava. Ah, screw it. Just cut the whole friggin' thing down. I want to have to deal with the water. Alright, so now that the water's gone. Alright, so does this fill up with lava still? No, it's not even hooked up to the bottom. Um, because it is lava and redstone. Well, either way, I can just go. No, I can't. <laughs> Uh, let's get a bucket then. Bucket's gonna be the easiest way. I mean, I could just hook it all back up, but to be honest, I don't really want to. Just one bucket. Uh, like I said, yeah, okay, it was redstone. So I'm gonna have to do this 61 times, so give me a few minutes to get this done, and I will be back. Should actually only have 61 redstone on me so that I don't get confused. Uh, so I've used three, one, two, three. There we go. So I'll come back once that's done. All right. So I'm not. I haven't got it all yet, but I've got pretty much all of it. So what I want to do is figure out where is this level good for me. If I have a look uh, in here and grab crucible, I also made uh, these crucibles to be automatically crafting, so that when it comes to making them, I can do so and not have to worry about it. So we would have them all there, with the import buses at the top, and the fluid export at the bottom. That's not particularly how I want it. So let's... Oops. Oops, I had magnet mode on. I forgot about that. Good thing! Everything kept disappearing. Alright, now I can turn it off. So, what we want to do... So if we take this, what we want is, we want the crucible to be leveled there, the fire will be there, so that then this will be there like that. That looks about right. Let's have a look. Grab my flint and steel, see if that's fine. Yeah, that's how we want it like that. So what I can do is start chucking these on the bottom there. Ow. Like that, and then they'll be there. Okay. So the cables are going to be the pretty much the worst part of the whole process. Alright. So I may have nine redstone left, but I believe there are nine of these things. Yeah. So there's nine never racked down there, so I don't need to do any more. So let's take these. Like that. Put all these out. Grab them up. Make a mess of everything while we're here. Wouldn't be right if we didn't. Alright. We can bring... which way is supposed to be this one? I'll tidy this all up at some point, I'm sure. But for now, it's not of any sort of worry to me. Because we'll be coming back anyway, fixing it up. Alright, so what the goal now is, is to chuck the crucibles in. And we needed... oh, how much was it? It was 61. We've already got one out there, so what we need to do is there's four there as well so from the 60 minus 4 that's 56 that we're gonna need there we go they will take their time to get crafted and they should come into here and get cooked good 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 alright so what we can do 
is start to let's see let's come up make sure area mode is off because that will cause issues and then simply blast through this although this isn't fast when you're flying so it's a little bit of a pain oh well do, 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 do. almost there almost out of wing meter as well all right just make sure that we don't fall off and there okay So we can start to place the never rack. Let's grab what we've got in here. And start to put this down. Much easier if we could fly, but uh, we don't have much wing meter left. Oh, stuff it. I swear I just heard a bat. Oh well. Probably did. And skeleton. Okay. Come here. I forgot that this isn't technically lit up. So, sheepy! <gasps> no! That's our sheep, he's gone! I think I let him escape. <laughs> when I was cutting things up. Oh well. It's okay. We can, I can fix that. I can fix that. Let's just get all this lit on fire so that mobs don't spawn. There we go. So this will definitely give us enough lava. Oopsies. Get another flint and steel. Continue this process. I should have enough neverrack. I may be like one or two short. But I... <laughs> one short. Are you kidding? Oh dear. All right, I'll see if it's in the system. It may have made it way made its way into the system somewhere. No. Oh, I completely forgot we have never essence. We can probably make um the uh, never rack with that. I didn't even think. Uh, I feel like an idiot now. There's going to be a way to make it. This is why you check the recipe of things first. Oh dear. Now I feel silly. Oh well. <laughs> Just move on from that and put this last one down. There we go. Let's kind of clean things up. How many crucibles do we have? Four. Four. I bet we're out of clay. I bet that's the thing that we don't have much of. And that this is stuck on. Clay, yep. Alright, so I'm pretty sure there's a way to make clay. Yep. Easy. Got tons of it. It's not a big deal. So now that that's done... Let's uh, start to put the crucibles down, and the lengthy part of this process is probably going to be that of crafting all of the import and export buses. So we're gonna ha we have the same system that we had over there. You know, you've got your basic export bus, which is exporting cobblestone, And then you've got your fluid import bus, which is taking the lava and chucking it in the network. Exactly the same setup that we had before. Except this time, they're going to all be fluid import buses and not just most of them. <laughs> so people can oh, stop telling me that I did it wrong. Because I just com completely forgot. So let's get this hooked up. We have normal cable, and then the system should start to go. Yoink, 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 yoink. And of course, we need to connect down here. There we go. 
I don't think I have to tell this to for the import bus to do lava. I think if I leave it empty, it's going to do all lava. I'm not. We'll do all liquid. Sorry, I'm not 100% sure on that, but oh well, we'll find out. So I'm going to let that run. I'm going to get the rest of the resources crafted up. I'm just going to get a stack of each of the export and fluid import. And then go from there. But uh, that, of course, is going to take a while to do. Fluid import. So I'm going to leave it there. And I'll be back in just a few short seconds. All right, so that's not finished being set up yet. There's still quite a way, why, still quite a way to go, but unfortunately, it's going to take a while to craft up all those buses we need. So I'm going to move on to something else. Uh, I also forgot to say that I finished off my auto converting of essence. Basically, used the same principle I showed last time, uh, but it's doing every single essence now. So we're auto converting everything that comes in from the essence farm. So that's good. Now what I'm going to do is to get one of the challenges off the list. At least try. And that's to duplicate an enchanted book with printing press and typeset. Now I have no clue what this involves. But uh, we shall have a look. So let's head over and craft these things and see how we go. Printing press, what do we need? Iron blocks, nah, not so bad. What's that? Weighted pressure plate, yeah, not so bad as well. All right, so there's the printing press. Then we needed, what was it, a typeset? Typeset. All right, so there's the typesetting table. Gonna need that. And there we go. Alright, so let's chuck these down and see what the... Ooh! What's going on. Alright, so first of all, let's get a book. And let's... Oh, we've already got tons of enchanted books. Uh, Silk Touch 1, why not? So, now we have to figure out how to do this. See if I can figure it out. These don't have any sort of interfaces. Let me get a blank book. Right, so book in there, no, in there. Oh, hold on. Let's get an empty hand. Please select a book. All right. So what's going on? Am I going to have to look? Ah, da, 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 da. there we go. Alright, so I've got a book in there. Not any more though. Ah. There we go. So there's that. Now how does this work? Please select the book. Alright, so let's look up Bibliocraft and see what comes up in the stuff. I swear there's a ton more stuff than this in Bibliocraft. Apparently not. Enchanted plate. That sounds like printing press plates. They sound important. I made the chase to make the machine. Is this what I need to do? Do I need to make another one of these? Ah, oh, there's where the chase goes. I'm going to have to look this up, so give me a second because I just can't figure this out. Alright, so there we go. I think I know how to do it now. I need to get my trusty monocle that I made. Once we get that equipped... We should sh What does that say? Uh, where'd it go? Requires 40 levels. Okay, so we're going to need to get 40 levels, which is 
Luckily, very easy. Oops, no, wrong way. 40 level shouldn't be too difficult to get. I could just use a lesser book, but yeah, well. This is what we're working with, so this is what I'm going to use. No, screw it, I'm going to use a lesser book. Because Silk Touch seems to be too much. Let's just get Flame 1 then. Let's see if that's still 40 levels. No, oh, it's still 40 levels, so it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter, I don't really use enchantments anyway. There's no need to with uh, Tinker's Construct and Don't Craft. They do everything you could ever want anyway, so. Yeah. Alright, so let's get up to 40. And then. Should be a matter of simply shift right clicking the book. And it should copy. Alright. Shift right click. Please select a book. What's the other text which comes up? Do I have to put a blank book anywhere? This is what I'm unsure of. It says all I need to do is to shift right click it. Yeah. Ah! Is that it? Enchanted plate, okay. Then, Enchanted Plate goes into there. If we grab this book. Oh, Enchanted Book goes there. Uh, let me have a look what the printing press page says. Simply place the printing press plate in the center place. Place the book on the left side and apply ink sack. Okay. So, put the book there. Get these lovely ink sacks, which we are making tons of. And then... Ta da! Oh, fancy. I imagine it's. Oh! There we go. Enchanted book. Flame one. Nice. So we can keep that printing press type, which uh, apparently doesn't last too long. So that's a uh, interesting way to clone enchanted books, I suppose. Just so you get about four or so uses out of the chase from it. So, not too bad. Either way, we had to do it. So, there we go. Uh, the more you know, I suppose. <laughs> now I know how to do that. If uh, I ever need to, I can do that again. So, let's chuck this stuff away. All right. So, what I think is going to be necessary now is to get a Tinker's Construct smeltery going. Now, there is some sort of talk about being able to use a small smeltery or something like that. I don't know. I know how to make the big one, so I'm going to make the big one. If I can. Alright, so let's cook four stacks of grout up. Of course, uh, my auto lava bucket filling machine is not up and running at the moment, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. Oh well. We shall deal with it. So, alright. While that's working, let's put some more buses on things. We've almost got all the ex. Oh, actually, no, we haven't now that I look at it. We're still quite a way off. Oh dear. There we go. So I can easily fill these up. Like I said, once this is done, this is probably going to be about. give us six times more lava than the last system. Considering we only needed twice as much to keep up with demand. This is going to be very handy. So let's chuck everything in. And it looks like uh, leaving the fluid import buses empty does actually pull out any liquid. So saves me having to go through and manually set them all to use lava. 
So that is a great thing. All right, let's get these. Oh, not like that. There we go. We should be starting to generate excess lava now. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. So either way, let's go up and grab some of that grout. Oh, looks like there are still some lava buckets in the system anyway. That's alright. So let's grab these and let's make some simple basic Tinker's Construct stuff. And get those torches back. So again, we're going to need basic stuff. Your controller. Drain. Going to need a bit of seared bricks, but I'll get them after. Uh, let's just go to the Tinker's Construct page. Uh, we're going to need a tank. What the heck are these? God, they look odd. Apparently they don't work. I don't know why they look all odd for, but uh, sure. So, seared tank. Got the controller, got the drain. Gonna need a faucet. And then I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Alright, so let's turn the rest into bricks. And let's go make a smeltery nice and quick. And then I've got to actually look up what a unbreakable pickaxe is. I think I know where to go to find it out. It's like probably somewhere on Bacon's channel or I think it's on Wildstein's Twitch channel. Uh, over here looks good. You know, it's sort of an unused area. It's not e. It's not a uh, odd though. It's the problem. Oh well. I can make it odd. If I have <laughs> slabs, that is. No, 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 no. That's exactly where I was. Alright, so let's... Do that. Alright, then we can fill in this bit, and then we can put the smeltery down. And it won't eat up my OCD. Well, my Minecraft OCD is not real OCD. Alright. So we should have enough, hopefully. Yep, cool. Alright, so the base of this, I'm sure everybody knows how to make it. Let's just put this in area mode. Boom. Bottom 3x3 three three area, seared bricks. And then around the outside, seared bricks. I don't think these corners need to be seared bricks, but to be honest, I have so much, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to put seared bricks there. Because that's where the drain's going to go with the faucet. The controller will go there. The tank will go there. This turns on, which means it's valid. Alright, so let's do that. Let me grab my tools back. I can actually put another row on this. I need to in order for the drain to work. Actually, there may not be enough. Oh, who am I kidding? Yeah, there is. Good. Alright, so the basic premises of this, I'm sure most people know. You put your ores or ingots in there, smelts up. You pour this into, say, we're going to need a casting table. Which is one of the things I forgot to get. Lovely. So let's head in. Grab a casting table, which we're out of bricks. That's all right. There should be some over here cooked up. There we go. So let's get a casting table. There we go. Now this doesn't, the smell three doesn't need to be more than 
uh, two levels higher to be honest you know it's not particularly necessary let me just check F7 though ah there's some spaces in there just get rid of them put that down there we go I'm gonna actually put just one then how's that oh area mode hmm have any, oh good, I have a ton of slabs in here. That's alright then. All right. So yeah, that's the basic smeltery. I'm sure everybody knows how a smeltery works. And is used by now. If not, I've done many a series where I use Tinker's Construct. Go and have a look. Uh, but we'll be going through how to make it and how to use because we need to make the unbreakable pickaxe, which I don't know how to make, but I'm going to go and have a look in between episodes and I'll find out. What we need is to get some lava but we don't have any lava to put into here so <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to wait until this lava generation system is set up. So yeah, well it seems to be lagging a bit. Um, once this is set up what I'll do is I'll, I'll see if it's actually going to lag my world if it is, I'm gonna I'll move it to the Never because, you know, that's it won't cause as much issue there. But either way, we have a lucky block to do. I still need to put these lucky blocks somewhere <laughs> where it's not going to cause massive issues. Let's just put it here. <gasps> okay, that's our diamond uh, hammer. Uh, not so useful anymore. <laughs> We're kind of over the days of hammering things. But I'll chuck it in there anyway. Why not? So yeah, that's the end of the episode. Like I said, I'll get everything set up and ready for next episode. And if I need to, uh, I will move all of the lava generation into the nether. So it doesn't cause as much lag here in the overworld. Because that's where we spend pretty much all of our time. So, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.